Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Paula's Choice Calm Redness Relief Line. Um, I need to tell you this is not a sponsored video. Uh, this video contains a mix of products that I purchased myself as well as products that were sent to me for consideration. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about this line because it's been amazing for my skin. Um, I'm shooting this this without any foundation on. I'm wearing lipstick. Um, I have my eyelash extensions and that's the only makeup I have on. So I wanted you to be able to look at my real skin. So as you can see, I have pink right through here, pink here, pink here. I have dry skin, I have sensitive skin, I have rosacea, and my big concern for a very long time was redness and blotchiness to my skin. When I was diagnosed with rosacea, um, my real major skin concern was the nasty flare-ups I kept, kept having, which is why I ended up getting IPL treatments. For the longest time, I wished that there had been a skincare line that was created for my skin, and I finally feel that there has been with this Polish Choice line, which just launched. So the Calm Redness Relief line has dry skin products and oily skin products. Since my skin is dry, I'm going to focus on the products that I personally use, and they're all for dry skin. Initially, I believe I started with the BHA lotion from this line, and then I tried the serum, and... I fell in love because I have seen a reduction in the overall redness in my face, which I appreciate. I, like right now, I feel like I just have a little bit of pink and it's not terrible. Um, I'll put a picture up over here so you can see like what my face looks like sometimes, which is when, you know, I feel very uncomfortable in my own skin when I have so much redness going on. I'm going to show you my daytime routine. This is my skincare daytime routine. That's it. I use the Calm Redness Relief Serum, and then I use the SPF 30. And this is a mineral-based SPF. It's very soothing. It contains like peptides, antioxidants, and all kinds of ingredients that are really good for sensitive skin, at least for my sensitive skin. My nighttime routine is a little more complex, but not by much. I basically use four products. Oh, and what I use on my lips. I'll show you what I use on my lips, but it's not part of this line. For my nighttime routine, I start with the BHA lotion. This is a chemical exfoliant. So after I apply the BHA lotion, I will apply this, which is the calming serum. After that, I will put on the nighttime moisturizer. This doesn't contain any SPF. Um, for me, it's rich enough to also use as like an eye cream. So I'll put this basically on my face, under my eyes, on my neck, and like my decollete. And then I finish up by using a drop of this, which is the Skin Firming Line Minimizer, like right around my eyes. That's it for my nighttime routine. There's also a Calm Redness Relief Cleanser that, that's part of this line. I like the cleanser a lot. It's a creamy cleanser. Um, what I don't like is the packaging. I absolutely hate this packaging. I feel like it will glom out way too much moisture, or way too much cleanser all at once. So, what I'm probably gonna do is put it into the resist bottle because I like this packaging much better and this lets me control the amount of product that comes out. So I prefer this packaging, but I like this product a lot. Now, whenever I'm going to apply foundation, what I've been doing is using a drop of the Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster mixed in with my liquid foundation. I've been wearing the Born This Way by Too Faced a lot lately. This is the color Snow. So basically one drop of this mixed in with this and then applied with the Beauty Blender and then I feel like my skin looks good. That I feel like the combination of the two helps to keep my skin hydrated. It doesn't emphasize dryness. It just doesn't get cakey and look gross. So this is a winning combination for me. I've got a couple different products I've been using on my lips. I've been using this Michael Todd Intensive Cream stuff, which is supposed to help smooth out your lips and plump them. Um, I feel like it does an okay job at that, but it's not moisturizing at all. So I end up using my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And um, sometimes during the day, I've been using the Skin Fix stuff, which I got at Gen Beauty. I want to talk a little bit more in depth about the products from Paula's Choice. So the BHA lotion, which is the first product that I started with, is a 1% um, salicylic acid. It's basically a gentle chemical exfoliant and you put it all over your face. You don't put it on your eyelids, but you do put it under your eyes and it will just basically help your skin to look clear. It will reduce redness and it will clear out your pores and basically it helps to minimize the appearance of your pores because it keeps them clean. The serum is my holy grail. I was sent my first one by um, Paul's Choice to Review, and then I've bought three more since then. I bought one, and when I got to the end of it, I bought two more last week because I was afraid that I was going to run out. I'm like, I don't want to run out of this. I use this two to three times a day, and it has, like, let me show you. It has a watery texture. If you can see, it's just, it's really light, and like that, it's already dry. 
And if you want to stack it with one of the Paula's Choice like super antioxidant serums, you absolutely can. I just haven't been right now because I've been trying to focus on this line to see what I think of it. My only complaint with this product is that I feel like I go through it really fast because I'm using it two to three times a day. I wish it came in a larger size. So I've always kind of like bounced around on what I like from a nighttime moisturizer. I've tried a lot of products that I thought were pretty good, but none of them felt like just right. And to me, the Calm Redness Relief Nighttime Moisturizer feels just right. Like I really love the Skin Replenishing. This is a great one, but I prefer this one because I feel like it really addresses my skin's concerns. More frequently when I wake up in the morning because of this, I wake up with little to no pink on my face, which is great because I know as the day goes on, I'm gonna have more pinkness just because that's just what's going on with my face with my uh, rosacea. That's just kind of how it works. Especially if I go to the gym, work out, it's gonna get like all pink or red. Um, been more pink lately, which has been great. But basically this helps to add a ton of moisture to my skin. I think a lot of the reasons that my skin ends up red is that I end up being dry and I, not, I don't realize my skin is dry. And so that'll basically just irritate it even more. I really like the SPF 30 moisturizer, but the key I think with any SPF is to wear it every day. Anytime you go out, don't ever skip a day. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Even if it's winter, you should still be wearing SPF. So this really is nice because I can just use one product that has SPF that's moisturizing, has anti-aging benefits, and has the redness reduction, which I need. So for me, since I started using this line and have been really focusing on only using these products, I've seen an amazing reduction in the amount of daily redness that I experience. And I love it because I hate having my skin get all flushed and pinky. I don't mind if I'm like a little pink here, but it's never usually just a little pink here. It's like pink here, pink here, pink here, pink here. And then people are like, well, do you have a sunburn? Is something wrong? To have very minimal redness or pinkness is really nice because then I feel like I can actually go out in public without makeup on and people aren't gonna be like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like I mentioned, I feel like this line was made especially for me because it's been, it's been formulated with ingredients that really seem to help my redness and calm my skin down. So in the past, I've always been willing to try new skincare products. And right now I'm telling everybody who isn't Paula's Choice, no, I don't want to try your skincare products because I feel like I've got something that's finally working for my skin and I don't want to screw it up. But this line, I feel like it's perfect for people who have skin issues like I have. So if you have like dryness, rosacea, sensitivity, I think that this is a great line for you to check out. And I really appreciate the fact that it has a lot of anti-aging ingredients in it because that's another skin concern of mine since, you know, I'm in my 30s. That's something I care about. Anyway, I just wanted to make a video to rave about the Calm Redness Relief line because I feel like it's made such a difference in my skin on a daily basis that I'm just, I'm ecstatic with it. I love it. Um, I've Snapchatted me using the line a couple times, so just, it's like, here's my skincare routine. I'm using, you know, just two products today. And it's just, it feels really good to be able to get away with just using a couple products and actually see results as opposed to feeling like I have to use 30 different things and I'm still not really 100% happy with what I look like. Anyway, what are your skincare concerns? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure you subscribe to my channel. I make new videos weekly. Thanks so much for watching.